morning, everybody. I am just heading into the OB's office. And I thought the next time I step foot into his office, it was going to be for a different reason. <laughs> so not exactly how I wanted to walk back in here, but a couple of days ago, I went in for an ultrasound. For those of you who have been around for a while, um, you guys know, but for those of you who are new, um, we will link a video to a biopsy I had done last year. I found a lump in the middle of a transfer cycle that we like urgently sought out trying to make sure like you can't do transfer if you possibly have breast cancer. It was a little bit overwhelming, but it was fine but I just did an ultrasound a couple of days ago as a follow-up since I'm not pregnant, so let's like kind of take care of things that I should have taken care of months ago. And so I'm going into the OB's office and we will see what he has to say. So I went to my OB and the lump has grown from 0.8 centimeters to 1.5, so it's like doubled in a year. And so he says it should get taken out. The radiologist says it should get taken out, so he's referring me to a surgeon. Looks like I'm gonna have breast surgery. Whoop, whoop. So you guys, we are very blessed that we have some awesome brands that want to work with us. True & Co is an awesome company that reached out to us and wanted to sponsor a video. So you guys know that your body changes a lot when you're pregnant and so this company reached out to us when I was on bed rest and I was so confident that this transfer was gonna work. I was so stinking confident that I was like, perfect. I'm gonna be able to get a bra that doesn't have an underwire that's gonna be comfortable as my body changes. There is nothing wrong with having a comfortable bra all the time. It's just, I was really hoping that it was gonna be for pregnancy. But perfect, perfect, perfect timing because um, I don't know anything about breast surgery at all. I think they just do a small incision and take the lump out and that's that. I really know nothing. So we will bring you guys along and show you. So when I had my biopsy done, it was like 80% that it was a fibroadenoma, 20% that it was one that was a little bit faster growing. So maybe that's why it grew so much. So I know many women have it all the time. It's just a matter of like, at what point do you get it taken out? So I will share with you guys what this experience is like. I'm hoping to get it done as soon as possible and just get it out of the way. Okay, that's cute and funny and at least gives me a smile. See, it's the small things, guys. You gotta find the small things to make you laugh when life throws you hard balls. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I genuinely, guys, I'm not just saying this. This is probably the softest, most comfortable bra I've ever put on. So I'm not gonna show you, but it is like one piece of fabric all over, so it's like completely smooth and I'm not even kidding, it's the most comfortable thing I've ever put on. Okay, that one was pink, this one's nude, but it doesn't matter what color you pick because they don't show through anyways, but holy camoleons. So True & Co is about women joining together to make like a better bra and listening to each other, listening what women want and trying to make the best bra possible out there and that's what they've done. Okay, I had to change my shirt for this one. This one's black, I wish I could show you. I think this is my favorite one, this is the cutest. But, can I tell you a sad, um, embarrassing story? I was at church this week, and I came home, and did you know black under black does not mean you are hiding your bra? Philip's like, we got home from church, and that's when he told me, uh, I think I can see your bra through your shirt. Do church! Uh. So black under black, lesson learned. This one happens to work out fine but double check your blacks under black, people, because we don't need anybody seeing our bras. Like, my husband can see my bra, but I don't need to be going out in public showing my bra, but oh my gosh. Look at, I'm like bending, he can't even see, maybe you can see that a little bit. Um, no clasp, so it's like super. What do you think? Can I show you my jeans are actually called mom jeans? I am embracing the cute style of high-waisted jeans and comfortable bras. Now if you guys wanna go check out True & Co, you can just go down to the link in the description down below and use the code ALEX15 for 15% off your entire order. 
people ask me all the time, why am I not bitter through infertility? And that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video. But for those of you who are sticking around and watching our journey and seeing what our next steps are gonna be, um, we're gonna share with you how you get through hard times because that's why we started this vlog is to share with you that you can still be positive. You don't have to be happy. You're gonna have joy through the hard times and but doesn't mean you can't be frustrated and angry at moments. Every miscarriage has brought on a different feeling. This one has been more anger, which I never thought that I would really experience. I share over on my Instagram some of those feelings if you guys wanna go check that out. Even though life has thrown us a bunch of curveballs, I feel like Philip and I are one of the most joyful people. You can still go through hard times and we still love each other, we love life, we love our girls, we love everything. But that doesn't mean that you can't have moments where you're like, this stinks. Hi, girls! Whoa! What? You push me without a helmet. No, you gotta put your helmet on. How about? I love your negotiating skills, sweetie. The pink bike. Hmm? The pink helmet. You want the pink bike? Yeah, where's your pink helmet? Callie, are you getting better at the scooter? Zoom? Look how much better you're getting on that. That's amazing. Whoa. This bike is way too big for you. We gotta get you something else. This is a good one. Have you guys seen my video over on my channel that I show a little fall arts and crafts project for your toddlers and preschools? I'm really liking doing videos over on my channel. It just gives me a sense where I can be creative and come up with all these fun things and show you what I do on a regular basis. We just talk a lot in fertility on this channel because I know that's what a lot of you are here for. But we spend most of our days doing crafts with the kids and all things toddler and food. And so over on my channel, I'm gonna do a lot more on healthy eating and playing with your toddler and all that kind of fun stuff. Let's go on the walk. Let's go on the walk. Let's go on the walk. Can I join you on your nature walk? Find it. Find it. Daddy took the girls on a nature walk for our last event before nap time. Daddy, if we go on a nature walk, walk will you go down for nap nicely? <laughs> <laughs> so this happens every now and then. Kinsley is officially at the stage of her life. Do you guys have toddlers? Hi, Sarah. How are ya? Stickers. Stickers? Are you you bringing the stickers on the walk? Kinsley, do you want the football? No. Let's toss the football. <laughs> no. What? Yeah. Kelly, do you want to toss the football? Yeah. Woo! Okay, hold it in there. Want hold it in? Stickers. Stickers. You want one on your forehead? Yeah. How about an ice cream cone? I promised the girls one more nature walk when Jason and Alicia got here, which means community apartment condo walk. <laughs> Were you gonna cheat them? <laughs> no, these are. This is nature. It's just planned. There's a tree. Planted. This isn't nature. There's a tree. Hey, <laughs> comment down below if you want us to move out of California. Okay, Jason Lee should come And put over, an extra comment so for me. We like to <laughs> brainstorm when they're around. We brain We brainstorm life, we brainstorm babies, we brainstorm Okay, then we thought we were giving you a friend like when you were first born and then maybe 6 months later and then 6 months later they're coming. He's going to have a friend. Yes, he will. Well, watch out. You have older friends right now. No, I roll. No, no. Okay. No, Daddy, no. <laughs> Whoa! You're moving, it's making it harder. This is really hard. Now I understand why Kinsley was struggling earlier. You're okay. You just got a little over your hands. So Philip's just asking because sometimes we brainstorm oh. of IVF, of adoption, of Fine. moving, of Fine. staying here. You it's just it? a lot of brainstorming that we do with our best friends. <laughs> why are you so cute? Okay, come on, let's go. Puppy gave me. Puppy gave you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I get that one? Of course. Oh, they down steps. Okay. I'm going to be really Oops. cute. It's scary. Okay, then come down the side. Whee! <laughs> That's why I have new pants on. <laughs> well, Kelly's going to be down. Kelly's going to be down. Get her. Get her. Go get her. 
Go get her! Go get Kinsley! Run, run, run! Yeah. Look at the BFFs talking over there. They're just so cute. Well, you guys, we're gonna end the night where we've been ending the night a lot. We have been sitting and discussing everything and it's been a lot of emotion a lot of processing questions and a lot of brainstorming and a lot of trying to comfort each other but listening to each other not having the answers not giving each other an answer just a space to be open and honest mm -hmm. yeah the hardest part you guys is when you open yourselves up to vulnerability and you expose yourself what you're left with is a wound that's open and it's not healed the way that you thought it was going to be. It's just hard. Life's hard. Mm -hmm. Alex has a lot ahead of her. I thought we were on the other side of victory. <laughs> I thought, this is it. We're pregnant. We're staying pregnant. Mm -hmm. it feels raw right now. I think that's one thing about life that we don't give life enough credit that it's a lot of exhausting moments and we always dream and strive for it's gonna get perfect when. Yeah. It's gonna be what I always wanted when this happens. The house is never perfect. The meals are never perfect. Your kids are never perfect. Your spouse is never perfect. Your job is never perfect. And so you always feel like, once I get to this, then I'm gonna be happy. We're never gonna have perfect scenarios in life. I'm sure you guys are in some spot, some stage of life where you felt disappointed by perfect not happening and mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm bummed with you guys I know this isn't always every circumstance but on most days when Philip's having a low day I'm doing well and when I'm having a low day Philip has the strength you know to lead us and mm -hmm. that's definitely been us on this couch every night processing together I'm excited to see what's to come so if you guys are looking for us we will be here most evenings processing together thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and I will keep you updated when my surgeon will meet with me for a consultation. I'll bring you along on that. If any of you have had um, a fibroadenoma or a phyloides, that's the other word for the more rapid growing. If any of you have had any of those kind of tumors taken out, I would love to hear your experiences and kind of things to look for in a surgeon. Um, just leave them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Go let your love multiply. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just